The arrival of cold weather makes the push to shelter people without permanent homes even more important. But in many ways, the pandemic is already making that more complicated. Madeline O'Neill joins us from Olin Park to explain how it's also helping push along some new solutions. Maddie? As you can see, I'm actually here at home, lucky to be out of the cold. Most of us are lucky to have a place to stay that's warm, but imagine having to stay out every night in this cold weather. Both the winter weather and pandemic are pushing local leaders to find new solutions to a problem that's been around for a while. It just seems like just a, a, a tiny thing that we can do. Tiny houses. They do have a heater, they have lights, they have electricity. Tackling a large need. You see the struggles that people are going through. You can't help but do it. This week, Occupy Madison co-president Brenda Conkle says about 11 people will be off the streets, moved into the 60 square foot buildings, becoming part of a community on the north side at the old Wiggies Bar property. They help build their tiny houses, they help um, participate in the community, and they do the work around here. So it really is not people doing it for them, it's doing it with them. The Tiny Houses Project is part of a bigger picture in the Madison area. It's really a joint effort. Jim O'Keefe, Community Development Director for the City of Madison, says since September, the number of unsheltered people in Madison has been cut in half to about 100. And to lower it even further, the city and its partners are getting creative during the pandemic. We threw the box out a long time ago now. We, you know, now we, we, we're working outside the box, the box is gone. That means putting families up in hotels, something the Salvation Army is doing for the first time because of the pandemic, which Operations and Development Director Steve Hex says is bringing on a much greater need for their services. Yeah, it's a lot more. O'Keefe says if there's a small silver lining in the pandemic, it's that it's brought to light everything available shelter space throughout the area just can't offer. I think we're on the on the track to providing um, much better long-term permanent shelter solutions. Conkle offers a silver lining herself. I think the pandemic brought a lot of resources to our community, but it also exposed a lot of gaps in our system. Gaps she's helping fill as Occupy Madison works to complete 28 houses, knowing that even tiny efforts can add up to something big. It's happening at lightning speed and um, it's happening because of all the community support. Next week, a temporary men's shelter will open in the city's fleet services building. Now, despite the pandemic, the Salvation Army still has its red kettle campaign going on. More important than ever, we have information on how you can help with all of these efforts on our website.